Hello YouTube, welcome back to our channel, The Big King Family. We're going to start right here with our grocery haul this week. Um, this week, uh, these are just some filler items to kind of get back into, to bring into the house, you know, just for the week, some snacks and stuff. We don't really get that many snacks, but we're trying to buy, you know, regular food that we can actually eat with meals, and that is taking up a lot of the uh, grocery budget, whatever you want to say. But let me just go ahead and show y'all the haul. Okay, I got three of these Kroger pieces this week. They were on a digital sale for $2.47 each. This is one I'm real excited to try. It's the double bacon pizza. And then that's just a pepperoni and a cheese back there. Double bacon. Hmm. I'm going to put that in now. I got the oven on 400 now to put it in. Okay, I got two of these um, Sargento's block cheeses right here. We'll shred them down and use them on different things, you know. This is the Festa Pepper Jack and Mozzarella. To me, I feel like it's hard to find the block mozzarella cheese. So it was good to be able to get that. I really should have got two of them, but I did want to try this other new one, this Festa Pepper Jack, because I love Pepper Jack cheese. Also, they were $2.50 at Kroger's, and they have a digital coupon for a dollar off of two, making them $2 each. This week, the uh, Kraft black cheese is also $1.99, so same price. Okay, we got two of these Hagen dazs Douche de Leche. Me and Tilt, we are going to enjoy these this evening while sitting back watching some TV. They were on a price cut for $1.90, $1.90, you know, so that's why we picked those up. Because they're normally 3 or $4, I think, for just a little pint like that. But we like that caramel ice cream with the vanilla. We got four packs of these egg rolls. And these egg rolls, we love them because they come with the sauce packet. But uh, we can always buy some sweet and sour sauce, I guess, to throw in the refrigerator so we can have with our egg rolls. I got two of the chicken egg rolls from my uh, husband. He'll probably put like like one pack in there when he get off work. I did not cook anything today. And the veggie egg rolls are for me to reduce it. We'll put those in one day to eat on, to snack on or whatnot. Then I did get three of these um, bun length. I, I decided to get the bun length. They're a little longer, and you get the same amount of hot dogs in there, eight, you know. And these are the beef the beef franks. Um, my husband used to didn't eat nothing but these Nathan beef franks, but now he's really liking the Applegate um, hot dogs. So, But these were on sale, so I got three of them for $3.47 each. That may not sound like a real good sale, but these are normally very expensive. I guess 4 or $5 a pack. So at $3.47 each, I grabbed three. Okay, that's the first part of our grocery haul. All right, we got these Hostess Crunch donuts. Oh, me and TP love these donuts, these these mini crunch like donuts. It, it's hard to explain, but we really like those. So we got a pack of those, okay? And then I got this big Soleil pack of razor. It come with, I think it's, it's only three razors in there, and it's the big Soleil. Um, last week, they did have a promotion going where I think these were on sale for $2.99. But when I went over there today, they were still on sale for $2.99. And there's a $3 digital coupon making these free. So I did grab these razors. I always like to try to get the razor when they're free or less than a dollar. You know, I try to grab them. I was glad to get that deal today. Free razors. That's always good. Then these right here. This, okay, they have a part in Kroger's where you can go to and buy chicken. And, and I ain't seen the tater babies in a long time over there. But this is popcorn chicken. And it was filled up all the way up to here with just the, the little popcorn chicken in there. Doing it, but we're hungry. We bought these and he ate these up in uh, Kroger's. They're only $2.99 though. Uh, and, I mean, it's a pretty good little pouch. It's definitely, you know, tie you over. Two ninety nine. We had got there for doing a but He ate them in the store, girl. I mean, viewers. He ate them in the store. I'm talking like I'm talking to one of my homies, or especially one of my daughters. Um, diet uh, Mountain Dew, Diet Pepsi, and another Diet Pepsi. Uh, me and Tip, we picked these up. Deucey was picking up different stuff that he wanted to get. I'm going to show y'all what he had got. Something special he going to do for himself. And, you know, he go, he always let us taste it, but we always love all the juicy food. Um, these were on sale three for five, and then there was a, a dollar off of three uh, digital coupon, bringing these down to a dollar and 25 cent each. Not bad at all. A dollar 25 cent each is a pretty good deal for a two liter nowadays. So we were glad to get these two liters, okay? And ne last but not least, we got three of the Topeka juices. Um, they were on sale this week for a for a dollar seventy nine mega, but uh, well on sale for dollar seventy nine mega sale seventy nine cent each. You can't really beat that. Um, I heard we used to could get these for forty nine cent each. Um, me and my family we haven't drunk these in a while, so I just want to try some of the different ones. This is the mango punch. 
This one right here is Tropical Punch. They move this. And this one right here is Mango Punch. Oh, I thought it was a different one. So Mango Punch and Tropical Punch are really the only two I really got. I could have sworn that was a different one, but I guess not. And I, there are many different flavors, but we're going to try these flavors. If we like them, the next time they go on sale, I will stock up on them. That's a good deal for a big gallon of juice. Last but not least, now this last but not least, Family Size Double Stuff Oreos. I think the Family Size ones were on sale, though, for either $2.47 they need two dollars and forty-seven cent or two forty-nine on sale. So that's a, a big old thing of uh, Oreo cookies for two dollars and forty-nine cent. Okay, that's some more of our um, haul this week. Okay, I got just um, I only got a, a couple more things to show you guys. All right, here's some more of our haul today. The muffins, I think they were on sale for three ninety-nine. Mega sale two ninety-nine. So I normally don't be able to get the muffins because they normally like five dollars. So. $2.99 I felt was a pretty good price. These are the Honey Raisin Brand Muffins. I've never tried these, never had them, but I bet they're good. I love anything Honey Raisin. I do. I like Raisin. I'm one of those people who like Raisin, so I do I do really want to try these. I'll let you know how it goes, but I bet you they're going to be pretty good. Then I got four of the Blueberry Muffins. I know TP likes Blueberry Muffins. I don't know about Ducey. These might be y'all for me and Tip, because uh, I know my husband ain't going to eat them raisin ones, but he might eat a, a blueberry muffin. He might. All right. Got two packs of the muffins for $2.99 each. I did try to stick with picking up everything that was on sale today, but our haul today was still over $100. It still ended up being over $100. But, you know, guys, good. We just going to keep on rolling with it. These were on sale. Mega sale for $1.49 or digital. A digital coupon for $1.49. I think it was mega. Whatever. I know there was a dollar forty nine cent. This is chocolate chip uh, covered ones right here, and these are the s'more ones right here. We're just gonna try these too. A lot of times granola bars and stuff like this don't really go over well in the house for us. I know me and Boo eat them, but Tip and Ducey they might not eat them. But we're gonna try these, and sometimes they go on sale, and then you may have coupon with them that go as low as ninety nine to forty nine cent each. So if we really like these, I know I could get these for like a pretty decent price. But dollar forty nine is not bad got those okay i got i got two s'more pop tarts because the budget was tight today and i just didn't get no strawberry ones do the bug went straight to the strawberry ones and picked them up i should have got them but i got two s'more these are my favorite pop tarts me and the whole family we do love the s'more pop tarts but i don't know s'more is their favorite but this my absolute favorite as i said i can't I don't want to eat a cold Pop-Tart. I'm not real big on eating cold Pop-Tarts. I have to have it toasted. Either toasted in the toaster oven, the oven, or the toaster. It has to be toasted before I can eat it. But I, these are my favorite. Strawberry is next in line, and then we'll go on, so on, and so on. Because they got a lot of different ones, y'all. Some crazy flavors of the Pop-Tarts. Just look them up. You'll see them crazy flavors. Got two of these. $1.49 on Mega Sale. But then it was a dollar off, too. Digital coupon making them only 99 cent a box, so that's not that's real good for the pop tarts. 99 cent a box with that digital coupon. I got one of these um, Viva um, paper towel here lately. I used to, I was one of those people who didn't keep paper towel in no house, but now paper towel is very convenient to help you with messes. Especially, I got a three year old son, it helps. And when my grandbaby come over, she's one paper towels really do help make cleaning up the job easier. But I do, I bought me a gadget. We'll probably introduce that in the next blog. I bought me a couple of gadgets for the house, but I got one gadget that definitely helps me with cleaning up messes so much easier. Makes makes cleaning up messes so much easier. So I, I will tell you all about that in the next vlog. Uh, this is on the Kroger hamburger buns. I got a lot of sandwich meat left. You know, I bought like eight of them, eight, eight to ten packages of sandwich meat in that real huge haul. So we still got sandwich meat left. So I bought some hamburger buns for when folks want a snack around here. Between Ducey, Tilt, me, and my husband, we can always make our own snacks, make our own sandwiches. So there you go, some hamburger buns. And then I got two packs of uh, light bread left. So, you know, we freeze it and throw it out whenever we need it. All right, you guys. One more thing I wanted to show you guys. Okay, you guys, this is a bonus today. This is a bonus today. I went to Dollar Tree too, y'all, and I just want to let y'all know what all I picked up. I like to stock up when I go to Dollar Tree. Let me make this quick and fast. Cause I don't want to be doing too much. Okay, these right here. Okay, I bought this soft soap right here. They only be having like the 7.5 fluid ounce uh, pump soap, you know, the kind. What the heck is this? What is this? It don't pump. Dang. But you know what? We may can get one from another pump and use it. So, 
I know. Deuce is like, what? What is that? But anyway, okay, so I got this. It's the aloe vera. It looked kind of white like these, so that's why I got it. I'm just going to keep refilling this one for the uh, kids' bathroom, okay? And then I found these big old hand soap refills right here, okay? So this is seven ounces, and this one right here is like 32 ounces. So this right here will refill the small one four different times. Four times. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20. That is 20 refills on this soft soap right here. If I have to, I'll go grab a soft soap that got a little pump to it. But normally they have a pump, so I don't know what the world I had going on. But this one is your gentle lavender. I kind of like, I like lavender, but you know, oh, I really love coconut the way it smells. So I got three of the gentle coconuts. I think this is a great, great deal. That's 20 hand soaps for only five, six, seven. Well, maybe seven or eight dollars. But 20 of them, you're getting 20 hand soaps because it's going to refill this soap 20 times. Really more than 20 times when you count what's already in the bottle. So I just thought that was a nice hack to do in order to stock up on your hand soap. If you use hand soap. Hand soap is not really a need. You can use your bar soap or whatever. But um, we like hand soap around here. And I thought this was a very inexpensive way to do it. Even though I do coupon. A lot of times I can't get that dial foam and soap down to no more than $1.49. Or even two bucks. $1.49 or $2.00. So this is for the children's um, bathroom, and I'm probably going to get at least 10 more of these refills, and that'll do them for six, uh, six months, almost to a year, probably six to eight months, though. So, all right, so that's one way I'm stocking up. Look here, y'all. I finally found the Yardley Lotion, okay? This is a 7.5 ounce, okay? 7.5 ounce, and then I do notice that the Nivea Lotion, the 8 ounce, is like 4 or $5 dollars. It's exact, and it's like, ooh, I think it's seven ninety nine in CVS, but it's very expensive. So for a dollar and twenty five, and you're getting almost an eight ounce, that is awesome. I'm gonna see how this does. I'm looking for a real good moisturizer, but Tippy being a small, uh, being a business owner, I'm gonna stop calling her a small business owner because she's a business owner and she's moving forward and she's doing well. But with her being a business owner, she um, she uh, networks with a lot of other business owners who do a lot of body oils and stuff so i think i'm going to try to find one of them that does a good body oil so that i can use it to moisturize my skin because as y'all see I'm, I'm always just ashy and stuff that don't make no sense need something to, to um, oil up but this is aloe vera and the avocado this is the english lavender and this is the oatmeal and almond but this is supposed to be net it's a naturally inspired but i don't know it might be lighter i might can use it on duty but do but really I always try to lotion him, but I've been using the baby Eucerin lotion for him, which is a bit expensive, but I can get a very inexpensive couponing. But this right here, if this will work for doing a bug, I'll use it for him and for me. But anyway, so glad I was able to find the Yardley lotion. One thing I have yet to find is people are buying, people are finding uh, the Olay soap, bar soap, four pack, the four pack. They're finding that in Dollar Tree. I would love to get that. So I haven't been able to find that in Dollar Tree just yet. Okay, so in our bathroom, we like the foamy hand soap. My husband really loves the foamy hand soap. Why? Don't ask me. So these are two more foamy hand soaps that I found in Dollar Tree. I'm going to see which one I like the best and then try and stock up. This one uh, has a pear scent also. I got like five of those pear scents, y'all. A whole lot of those. And I do not like the way those pear scents smell i'm gonna let the kids use them in their bathroom and then uh if this one smells pretty good to me i will try to stock up on this when i cannot get the dial when i can't get the dial or the bath and body work foam and soap i will get these for an alternative um and this right here is called simply antibacterial it's a 7.5 ounce but this one is 11 ounce so it's bigger than that one so i probably won't even go with this one just with it being smaller i want to see how they smell that's all and um then i'll know whether I want to, which one I want to stock up on, okay? They're trying to find a foam of hand soap that's affordable, but you know, if, when I can't get it, get um, dialed or bath and body work. Okay, y'all, this is the last stuff. This is the last stuff, and then I'm gonna get on off for you guys. Okay, this is a limited edition to stay cool. Wallerman, this stuff smells so good. I got one thing of it, and that's when they had it stocked up. I should have got five to ten, however many I wanted, but I didn't know if I was gonna like it or not. But that watermelon cool stay cool watermelon yes yes that smells so good it smells so good like you want to eat it you know it smells really good just like watermelon 
So today they only had one in the Dollar Tree. I knew people was going to buy that out because that smells so good. This is another limited edition, the, the Cotton Cloud Dream. I'm going to see how it smells, you know. If it smells pretty good, I will tag team these two and be buying them out of the Dollar Tree. Yes, Lord. But they're $1.25. Yeah, sometimes they're going to sell at other places for a dollar or 99 cents, hopefully. But I haven't seen that sell in a long time. So, look like Dollar Tree is where I'm going to have to go to find some different scents for the house. I'm going to start using these besides the plugins. I do like the Small Spaces by Febreze and um, these sprays right here. But when I run out of my um, plugins, I'm probably going to. I don't know. I, I like them, but it's just, you know, I'm trying to bite down on everything that I've been buying and stuff. All right, and last but not least, I got these two Fisher Price wipes right here. The Huggy wipes come with 64 in them, and I always pay a dollar and fifty or more. That's even with a coupon. They still run about a dollar fifty-nine or a dollar sixty-nine. The Huggies natural wipes, right? So these um, Fisher Price right here, they say fragrance free and all that right there. Uh, this one must got fragrance to it. So, I'm going to have to um, see which one I like best for doing it. But some of these right here feel like they're the kind of cloth-like ones that I don't too much like. I like just a, a real good, like, baby wipe, like, type. Uh, it, it's the feel of it for me. Um, so, these got 72 and these got 72. Uh, now, Duda Bug is pretty much fully potty trained. I haven't had no pull-ups since January. All right. All right, Duda Bug. No pull-ups since January. It is now March. So, he's doing 100, but I do like to use uh, wipes. I, I take a bag in there with me and stuff. Uh, TMI, I don't want to do too much with that. But I do like to use wipes on him uh, when he does number two, okay? So, I will be stocking up on these, whichever one I like the best. It's more wipes in them and a better price. So, I'm going to go with the uh, Dollar Tree wipes uh, just to get him on down through there. By the summer, he might be wiping himself better and stuff like that. All right. So, there's our little, my little Dollar Tree haul for the day great finds all right youtube thank you for joining me thank you for listening thank you for uh staying along for this little dollar tree haul too to show you guys what i had got at dollar tree today i was so excited about everything i found i wanted to show you guys it's lots of different things that i want to find in dollar tree that other people are finding i would like to find it so um all right until next time youtube stay blessed